thousand. Well, why in hell do you pick me to stand in front of? You pray for the sergeant every night? Yes, sir, I do. And are your prayers answered? No, sir, he's still walking about. Well, what do you want to stop again for, Bill? Not another drink. No, just the opposite, fathead. Gosh, I nearly missed it this morning. Many of the postcards on sale at seaside resorts today would have been considered scandalously shocking 50 years ago. The Isle of Man introduced voluntary controls on postcard censorship in 1913, but the scheme never worked. And 30 years later, the Tinwald, the Isle of Man Parliament, passed the postcard censorship bill. The committee this bill established still meets today. It's got three members and a clerk. One's a shop owner, one's a school teacher, and one's a retired bank manager. Together, they've got the final word on what's on sale at the seafront. Bottoms, yes. yes. And this, this one, um, there's some, uh, some swearing, I think. The committee meets two or three times a year and examines about 60 postcards. About three a year are rejected, though the committee's under no obligation to say on what grounds. But what is clear is that the cards that might have been censored just ten years ago are approved today without an eyebrow being raised. There's been a tremendous uh, change, in, even in the last 15, 20 years. Things that would have been uh, rejected uh, all those years ago are now perfectly acceptable. In fact, uh, they don't raise any comment. We've got one here in front of me from the year 1968, which has the word hell on it. Now, obviously, uh, even as recently as 1968, the members of the committee considered that swearing was, was not, not in. Nowadays, of course, uh, their mild expletive would be perfectly acceptable. Indeed, the ultimate irony is that though many of the cards on show this week were once thought so shocking, today they're valuable collector's items. You say you've seen plenty of action. Where was this? Behind the naffy, after lights out, sir. Oh, it's wretched stuff. Julie Carter.